I have been nattering on about this subject for six or seven years now. I had to write something. I had to do something about this housing fixation. Anyone who knows me knows that before I bought this house and even after I bought it, I was just completely preoccupied with, with houses, with looking at them on the internet, with, with going to various sites, the MLS, whatever it is, and just clicking through the photos. It really, it feels like a, an addiction. It's, it's very much like pornography addiction, perhaps, in some ways. I mean, I don't know or anything, but <laughs> I, I heard. And, and um, I, it, you know, it occurred to me that I was, I was really preoccupied in the house hunting phase, and then I ended up buying a house and I became preoccupied with like fixing it and redecorating it and doing various things to it. And then of course, after a few months, after I sort of ran out of money to do any more fixes, I went back to the real estate sites and started looking at other houses. And when I say I'm looking at them, I'm not talking just about houses in my neighborhood or that I would conceivably buy, but in other cities and states and countries. <laughs> and, um, and it really is just, there's something very, very soothing and very exciting about looking at pictures of, 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 of properties and, and homes and interior space especially. So I wanted to talk about that in a more general sense. I, I didn't set out to write a book about the housing bubble and, and foreclosures and all that because I'm not an expert in the business world and there are plenty of people who have written But did you books. suppose, in fact, that you would reveal... Did you surprise yourself? Did you reveal things in this book that you didn't end up... think that you would reveal? Are there things... I mean, I, what I'm sort of getting... You know what I'm getting at. I'm, I'm looking at the relationships you know, your family, your parents, your, yeah. that stuff. Um, yeah, the first chapter is very much about my family and growing up. I have parents who, uh, they're from the Midwest and they uh, really, they, they were consumed with sort of um, pulling themselves up this, this kind of socioeconomic slash intellectual artistic ladder. And the way it was, uh, the, the main way that they channeled it, especially my mother, was through houses. She, she wanted to be, uh, she was obsessed with academic life and sort of academic towns, but she didn't really want to be an academic. She wanted to be an academic wife and she wanted to have a certain kind of house with like oriental rugs and, uh, you know, framed uh, San Francisco <laughs> symphony posters on the walls or in certain kinds of books that she not, not didn't necessarily read and that sort of thing. So we were very much a family um, that, that kind of presented ourselves to the world through our, our houses. And we didn't have a lot of money, but we always had very nice looking houses because my mother was, was excellent at that.